All right, all right, hey guys. So, I've got my brumation chamber in the basement. Um, oh my God, you can see me. Uh, <laughs> I took most of the stickers off of it, except for that one, because I kind of liked it. Um, I haven't set it up yet, but what I wanted to show you guys was, I have, it used to be my incubator. You guys know that, so there's fans. I'm probably gonna leave them running. Um, there's a light back there, and I used to have the cord running out, and it would plug into a little like clicky switch thing that you could plug. You plug the cord into the switch, you plug the switch into the socket, and it gives you a switch. So, point is, I don't when this is either my brumation chamber or my incubator, I don't want to have to keep opening and closing it so that temperatures escape or the temperatures change. So what I did is I left that lamp on, I plugged it into this cheapy three dollar extension cord. I bought a two dollar adapter that makes it a switch. Boom. So now I don't have to open the incubator to turn the light on. So when I have eggs in there in those clear containers, there's some those are actually the old eggs. I still haven't thrown away yet. I have to do that. I can clean that out, bleach it out before I get new eggs. Um I can I should probably clean this glass too, which I'll probably do. Clean it down with some Windex and some Gooby Gone. But now I'll be able to look down, look inside there, see the eggs, see everybody's progress, or see who's brewmating without having to disturb them. So, it's not a huge thing. And I know you can probably buy cords that have that switch already on there, but I've been getting more and more into learning how to do stuff myself. So I kind of prefer to do it myself and my local Kmart is going out of business so that extension cord was probably like two bucks that switch was like a dollar so and they, oh yesterday I built myself a chickadee house not bad I'm gonna go hang it up it's still kinda drying I stained it because uh, chickadees like to nest in um, hollow logs and stuff like that which is actually why I have those up there drying for another project, but we'll get to that later. It has nothing to do with snakes, it's just for for uh, chickadees. But as you can see in the garage right now, it's currently 57. So once it gets down to about 50 or below 50, I'm gonna set this chamber up and set it for 50 degrees so that the box, you know, the inside will maintain 50 degrees. And uh, start thinking about brumating the hogs. Um, I'll have four females that should be ready to go. So, what I'll probably do is I'll brumate my larger females longer. My two smaller females, I might, I'll keep them out for an extra month, get another extra month of meals into them, and then, uh, then put them in there. And, you know, that might only be a couple grams difference, but that couple grams difference could be a major, major part of how many eggs they lay. So. Um, other than that, not really much to update on. It's boring season right now, waiting for brumation, and then I'm probably going to brumate most of them for about, I want to say six to eight weeks, and then, you know, bring them back upstairs, get them back up the temp, get them feeding, and start breeding. So, we shall see what happens. But I just wanted to show you guys that little light fix. You know, it's little things like that that make the hobby easier, you know. If you're building an incubator like this and you want to have a light in there, something like that, it's not a budget breaker, you know, four dollars worth of a components, and it just makes life easier. So now you don't have to open up. I mean, you should open it up to exchange air once a week, but now if you want to look at the eggs real quick and make sure everybody's okay and you have clear boxes, you don't have to open up that door. That way, the incubator or the brumation chamber, whatever, you, whatever you're using it for, will hold rock solid temps much better. So, I'll be doing some more videos soon. I've been talking to some people, they've given me a couple ideas for videos. Um, maybe I'll do a feeding video next week or something. We'll see. But that's it for now. Out. Oh.